So we've made a little box, like so. It's got some nice colors to it. Now it's ready, ready to put this out to the laser cutter. We've, what we're going to do to do that is I'm going to turn off all of my components so there's just one active at a time. And we're going to create a new sketch on each of these components. So I'm going to go sketch. I'm going to click on that sketch. So that brings up the geometry. I hit P for project. Click on it. So now I've got everything there. Stop sketch. And if I look at my sketches, that last one, the one that I just made is sketch seven. I'm going to not do that. We're going to go stop sketch again. And we're going to rename the sketch. There we go. So this is bottom, like so. Turn off whatever these ones are. I don't need to see them. So there's my bottom one. So now I can turn bottom off, turn this side back on, and again start a sketch. P for project, stop sketch, and here, same thing. This is going to be side three, we're going to say three and four because it's the same. Side three and four are just a mirror of each other. And then we'll turn that one off. Turn on side two. Sketch. Create a sketch on there. P for project. Stop the sketch. And again, if you click too fast, it just goes back to edit. So you got to click a little bit slow. This is side one and two. So one and two are mirror images, so that's fine. So we only need the three sketches to make it. We just got to remember when we go to the laser that we're cutting two of these and two of those. The next step is to export these for, for cutting. So we right click on them, save as DXF, and we can just give them the same names that we just did. So side one, two, Save as DXF, size, side three, four. Right click, save as DXF, bottom. You can put those all in a folder, uh, put them on a flash drive or one of the SD cards and send them to your teacher and he'll help you lay out the, the laser cutter so you can cut these out.